Hi, this is Will. Today I'm gonna, you know, go over tape in the barrel. Uh, I've seen some people online uh, do it, and I thought, well, you know, let me show you how I do it. Uh, 20 years of military, we used to use condoms back in the old days, and as we got the new H and K weapons, we got the plastic barrel caps. But uh, kind of give you some ideas of how you can do it to keep moisture and debris and dirt out of your uh, hunting rifles. Make it a little bit easier for you to, uh, you know, keep that debris from getting down in there and uh, causing problems, you know. Uh, any kind of issues with mud or debris. Uh, several ways you can do it. Uh, one way is you can take a piece of tape like I've done here and just tape around the end of the barrel uh, one way. Or you can take another piece of tape and come over the top, completely doubling it up and putting double the amount of tape across the top. I personally don't do that. I do one piece of uh, mass, excuse me, electrical tape across the barrel, such as this, and it's plenty. It keeps moisture, water, everything out of there. Uh, mostly debris for me because my, my barrel's coated and uh, I don't have to worry so much about that. I'm just trying to keep a little bit of moisture out of the barrel and debris. The other thing you can do is you can take a uh, surgical glove. If you are using uh, surgical gloves for gutting your animals or whatever, you're worried about you know the elk have carrying disease or whatever, uh, you can take a surgical glove, cut the, uh, the thumb piece off or one of the finger pieces, uh, slip it over the end of the barrel like I've done here, uh, and then just take one piece of tape and tape around it. It's very effective. Uh, you want to just use a, a one piece of tape because this does have a tendency to balloon. You're not going to notice it. It's not going to affect your accuracy, but because it, it does, it is elastic and will stretch a little. Uh, it has a tendency to balloon a little bit, and uh, it has an affected accuracy. I've tested it, uh, and we've done it before in the military. Just taking a surgical glove, cutting one of the fingers off, sticking over the end, tape it. Just one piece of tape around the end to hold it, or just use tape across the end of the barrel like this, electrical tape. Now, the other thing you can do too is if you don't want to buy surgical gloves, you don't have them. You can go to your local food service place and you can find these, you ask somebody who works food service for these food service gloves. Same thing, cut a fingertip off, slide over the barrel. It's not as elastic as the surgical gloves, like if you use nitrile or whatever. Uh, but it works good, it keeps the moisture, I can tape down the same way and these don't stretch as much. So that's another option for you. They're cheap, inexpensive way of doing it. And uh, you've got you know five on a, on a glove that you can use. Take, uh, you're going to carry surgical gloves with you anyway, I think most people do for when they're gutting and, uh, and uh, quartering an animal. Uh, I also would make one suggestion, if you are going to use electrical tape, uh, I would recommend that you use uh, the extreme temperature electrical tape. Don't buy some cheap uh, dollar store tape. Uh, the extreme temperature tape is a little bit expensive, it's like five bucks for a, a roll like this, but uh, it's good in cold weather and uh, in hot weather. The temperature extremes are, are on here and you can see this stuff is extremely good. It, uh, rated from zero degrees to 146 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you know, it's worth the five bucks. I've had other electrical tape uh, not only have gummy ah, solution on it, gets in on the end of the barrel and the crown. Uh, so I, I use this extreme temperature tape, works really good. I only use one piece across, you can use two if you want, or you can use a tip on there. Is my suggestion, I hope that helps somebody. Um, thank you.